think art in public spaces fulfills a lot of different roles for a lot of different people. It's a way they can be heard. For some people, it's a way that uh, space can be humanized. For some people, it's a source of employment for young people. I think the City of Toronto now has done a phenomenal job giving this free space and allowing artists to just put their work out there. For some people, it's just a splash of bright color in like a fairly brutalist environment. People can sort of, you know, riding in the streetcar, biking, would look out and see, okay, this is something that is meaningful to me. Uh, it gives a character, identifies it, the, the personality of the neighborhoods. The street art I prefer than the graffiti. Keep up the good work. To start program, the whole graffiti management plan was important because it gave a chance for the people not just to be taggers or that, they have a chance now to be in a pro league. Is it now that they can do what they love and get paid for it? And I hope that in 10 years that we're number one. As a public artist, your role is to try and create work that will engage that community. Maybe cover topics that are socially, politically, culturally important to that specific neighborhood. Artistic practice is changing a lot, and the importance of art in public spaces um, relates a lot to how artists are working and how they're responding to new audiences. Well, I hope street art programs in Toronto grow, actually allow for more ephemeral practices, different kinds of work, not just painting, but also sculptural, community-based practices, professional artist-led projects. The number of projects will only grow people's expectations for the quality of street art and for what their street should be will also grow.